guys uh today what we're gonna do on the 67 is i got new tail light lenses man those look a bunch better i'm gonna change those out which is not very exciting and then i got some new bulbs uh get rid of these broken ones I really wish I was talking to old boy man I'm standing right in the light I was talking to old boy that has a whole bunch of these pickups these parting that's been wrecked or etc parting out and I was hoping I could get some factory GM oh, that didn't work okay factory GM uh tail light lenses original equipment is what i'm trying to say and we and that bulb doesn't want to come out of there we uh we argued about prices they weren't in man i can't get that bulb out of there we argued about prices and i wasn't going to pay what he thought was a good price huh that bulb appears to be good I hope the socket ain't bad huh I'm gonna save that bulb that bulb seems to be good so I, I had to order aftermarkets and I didn't really want to order aftermarkets but oh well life goes on i'm not gonna whine and cry about it nobody's gonna not know that they're not you know oem or equipment parts because they look just the same just newer uh trying to see if i can't get the brake lights to work And then bulbs are hard to get in there. Okay, that one works. I think I might have a problem with my brake light switch. Because this bulb works. Because I don't have no brake lights. Oh, and I gotta go get my keys for it too. See, check the turn signals. If the turn signals work, then it's the brake light switch on the pedal. And I'll have to do something about that. Which I'm hoping it's the bulbs cracked somewhere. That one didn't appear to be burned out, but man, until these haven't been off for a while. Look how faded that one is. It's stuck on there pretty good. And it just shattered. According to that one, that bulb's, I don't know if y'all can see it, but that bulb is good. That's starting to lead me to believe I have a problem with the brake light switch itself. But I'll go ahead and put these new bulbs in here anyway because I'm here. Oops. And there we go. It's brighter anyway. Let me go get my keys and see if I can get see if the turn signals work. Okay, guys. I got a left hand turn signal. Let's see if we get a right hand turn signal. Uh, it lights up, but it's not blinking. Wonder what it's doing on the front. I don't know if I can get to the front. Might have to put those used bulbs up front. It's not blinking on the front either. So it's lit up, but it's not blinking. That probably is in the flasher. Okay. Who needs turn signals anyway? 
to see. The hazards are working. That one's just dim for some reason. I'm beginning to wonder if I got the bulb in there right. I got a running light. That bulb ain't in there right. There we go. Now it's brighter. All right, let me pause the video and see if it has a turn signal again. Well, I definitely think the sockets need to replace because now I got a right-hand turn signal. Now, I gotta figure out a way to test the brake lights. The good news is I got brake lights. So I'm gonna put on my new lenses and we'll see what they look like. So the new brake light lenses are in and they work. Yes. I'm gonna have to order some screws though. That one's missing one screw and this rubber gasket, You, I guess the sun shrunk it. It's only half the size it needs to be. So I gotta order a new one of them, but not too concerned about that right now. This thing ain't gonna get driven in a whole bunch of rain. So let me, uh, let's see. Let me see what I'm gonna figure out what to do next. I think we might try to sneak this thing around the block. I'm trying not to get a ticket. Let's see how good it starts. Man, this thing runs good. I need to get a tack. Man, I gotta do a bunch of interior work. And I gotta leave the windows. Bless me. But let me get this thing back out of here and we'll see about taking it around the block. Okay guys, you're gonna have to excuse the dirty window, but Man, I think that transmission is still low. shift gears. I don't wonder why it's still not wanting to shift gears. It's not wanting to shift. Let me check the transmission fluid right quick. It's still not wanting to shift gears. Uh, I'm letting it sit here and idle and get up to operating temperature and we'll check that transmission fluid again uh, and then after I get it warm I'm going to crawl under there and make sure that little uh, vacuum port is open on the modulator on the transmission the rubber line was off so it might be filled up with dirt so that's the next thing I'm going to check I'm going to check both ends of it make sure it's clear um, but for right now, I'm just going to let y'all go because y'all don't want to watch this pick up idle for 20 minutes. And then I'm going to check the transmission fluid again. Uh, so let me go over some of the things I did. I took this transmission line from here. It goes down the transmission 
and I don't know if y'all can see it. Uh, goes that modulator on the transmission. I took some air, compressed air and blew through it and see if there might have just been clogged. Uh, that didn't fix my non-shifting problem. So I'm beginning to wonder if that it goes into first and reverse just wonderful. So I'm beginning to wonder if uh, you got some smoke coming off over here. Uh, I'm beginning to wonder if that shift modulator is just not bad. Uh, and that just works off vacuum. And when I got the truck, the vacuum line was off. So being outside in the weather and everything, it probably, you know, is not working properly. I'm going to have to watch some YouTube videos and see how to adjust it or change it. <coughs> and I think it's kind of hard to do it by myself because the truck is so loud, but I think, I guess I can hook up some vacuum line to it and suck on it and see if it's leaking. I think that'll be my next step. If it's leaking and it's not holding pressure, that's why the transmission is not shifting. Uh, I'm probably going to have to order one of them. The truck overall is running great. Uh, got to find me a couple tires. I still got to go through the brakes. But I was hoping for a better, better overall video. But I got something wrong with that transmission. And I don't want to burn it up. So I guess my next step will probably be to remove the seat and get the tank out of here. Uh, order some parts on Friday after I do some more testing and Go from there. I'll keep y'all updated. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe See you soon I want to give y'all a quick little update on what I found The vacuum modulator is not holding the vacuum If it doesn't hold the vacuum, it's not going to shift um the transmission is not slipping, I don't think, but I think it's just not holding the vacuum. So I'm going to get one of those ordered. Uh, I put a vacuum hose on it and sucked on it like you wouldn't believe and I could hear air. Um, then I blew through it and I could hear air. So then I saw a drip of transmission fluid. So coming out of the seal on the side. I'm going to get on the parts store and see how much one of those are. I'm going to have to watch a YouTube video and see how to change it and how to adjust it. But I just wanted to give you a quick update to the end of this video. So please like, comment, and subscribe. See you all soon.